welcome back. Edge of the Empire. When you roll your dice, you get symbols instead of numbers. Wait, no. Symbols, not numbers. Yeah, these things right here. We're going to be talking about these symbols so you can understand what they mean and how you use the dice to play the game. The first and most important symbol for the player? Success. Success, well, self-explanatory, right? Without these, you can't succeed. Failure is the opposite to success. You roll these, you're probably going to fail. Right? Yes. If you don't have more successes on your dice rolls than you have failures, you fail. Advantage. Succeed or fail, you get some sort of beneficial action. Most commonly, though, advantage is usually listed on your weapons for what it takes to get a critical hit. But once you roll that number of advantage, you can activate a critical hit. Also, there's certain weapon abilities that, to trigger them, cost the listed amount of advantage. Threat. Threat counteracts advantages. Also, succeed or fail. If you have any threat in excess of your advantages, something negative is going to happen. Okay, you're going to love this one. Triumph is the best beneficial thing you can roll in your entire dice pool. Triumph is multifaceted. It's a success in addition to being any number of advantages. You can trigger any single weapon ability or any critical hit regardless of the prerequisite amount of advantages needed. Pretty badass. Despair is the opposite to triumph. You roll despair, the evil gears in your DM's head start to roll. Something possibly really bad is going to be happening to you very soon. The Force Dice. To get into the Force uh, requires a lot more detail. It does so much stuff, these dice. So, thanks for watching. Next episode, we're going to be talking about how to build your dice pool for various actions and how to determine the result of that dice roll so you can understand the real core mechanics about how to play the game. So, don't forget, rate, like, subscribe.